Are you ready to discover the dark secrets of North Korea's notorious prison camps? Brace yourself for a shocking journey into the brutal realities of these secretive detention centers. Imagine being trapped in a living nightmare of unsanitary and life-threatening conditions, resembling historical concentration camps. Inmates are subject to unspeakable torture and inhumane treatment with a disturbingly high death toll each year. Public and secret executions, even of innocent children, for attempting to escape are a chilling reality. Infanticide and infant killings are all too common, and the mortality rate is staggering, caused by starvation, illness, work accidents, and torture. And if all that wasn't enough, during times of famine, the government creates even more inhumane labor camps as punishment for those who dared to cross the border or were deported from China. But the government denies all allegations of human rights violations, leaving former prisoners to speak out and expose the true horrors of these re-education and internment camps, where guards are trained to treat detainees as subhuman. Get ready to be horrified and outraged as we reveal the atrocities happening in North Korea's prison camps. Brutal Treatment of Political Prisoners North Korea's state security department is known for running internment camps for individuals deemed to have committed political offenses or those considered politically unreliable. These camps have been documented to have a strict policy against religious practices, and those caught engaging in such practices are often arrested and sent to political prison camps. The use of family responsibility principle, where family members of convicted political criminals are also interned, has decreased since 94. However, it's estimated that a quarter of a million people, including one-third children, remain in political prisons where they're subject to slave labor, torture, and rape. Former guards have reported that in the event of a regime collapse, they were ordered to kill all political prisoners, potentially constituting genocide. The camps located in remote mountain valleys are known for their brutal conditions, with prisoners facing starvation, physical abuse, and public executions. There are currently six political prison camps in North Korea, and their existence has been documented through satellite imagery and the testimonies of former prisoners and NGOs. The camps are notorious for their inhumane conditions, where prisoners are subject to forced labor, torture, and abuse on a daily basis. The camps are also known for their secrecy, with the outside world having little to no knowledge of the horrors that take place within them. The international community has repeatedly called for the closure of these camps and for the North Korean government to be held accountable for the human rights violations taking place within them. The Plight of North Korean Refugees During the 1990s Famine During the height of the famine in North Korea in the mid to late 90s, Thousands of North Koreans risked everything to cross the border into China in search for food or jobs to support their families back home. However, the Chinese government, fearing repercussions from the North Korean government, forcibly repatriated these refugees back to their country. The North Korean border police often met them with brutal torture, despite the government's promise of fair treatment. Those who had any contact with South Koreans or Protestant Christian organizations were particularly targeted and sent to labor colonies as punishment. The situation for refugees was dire, as they were forced to leave behind everything they had in China and face almost certain persecution upon entering to North Korea. Many were sent to labor camps where they were subjected to inhumane conditions, forced labor, and torture. Some were even executed for their perceived crimes. The plight of North Korean refugees highlights the dire human rights situation in the country and the need for international action to protect them. Despite the challenges, many still escape to make it to South Korea, and some of them are resettled to other countries too. The international community should be more proactive in helping the North Korean refugees, providing them with food, shelter, and medical care, and working to ensure that they're not returned to North Korea against their will. Escape from Hell the shocking truth of North Korea's political prison camps. Two survivors, Kang Xiaowan and Shin Dong Yuk, have provided insight into the inhumane conditions and treatment of prisoners in North Korea's political prison camps through their personal accounts. Kang Xiaowang's book, The Aquariums of Panyang, describes the 10 years he spent in Yodok political prison camp, including starvation, forced labor, torture, and public executions. Shen Dong Yuk is the only known survivor to escape from Kiachong political prison camp, one of the most dangerous prisons, 
and his story highlights the brutal realities in these prisons. These survivors' accounts give a glimpse into the ongoing violation of human rights and the immense suffering in these camps, and serves as a reminder of the need to hold those responsible accountable and work towards preventing such atrocities in the future. North Korea's Dark Secret – The Horror of Re-Education Camps The re-education camps for criminals in North Korea are a brutal and inhumane system run by the Ministry of Social Security. The camps are designed to hold individuals who have committed both common crimes and political crimes, and the line between the two is often blurred. People who fall out of favor with influential party members are often falsely accused of crimes and brutally tortured in detention centers. This leads to forced confessions and long-term prison sentences for many innocent individuals. The conditions in these camps are dire, with prisoners suffering from hunger and torture. The high percentage of prisoners don't survive their sentence terms in a testament to the brutality of the system. The re-education camps are large prison-building complexes, surrounded by high walls where prisoners are forced to perform slave labor, subjected to ideological instruction and self-criticism, and even forced to memorize speeches of the leaders. These camps are different from the internment camps for political prisoners, but the situation of the prisoners is similar in both. The camps are estimated to be around 15 to 25 in North Korea, and they hold thousands of prisoners at any given time. The prisoners are not given any legal representation and aren't allowed to contact their families. They are subject to inhumane conditions, forced labor, and constant surveillance. The re-education camps in North Korea are a violation of human rights and should be shut down immediately. As you've seen, the conditions in these prisons are beyond inhumane, and it's crucial that we continue to shed light on these atrocities and hold those responsible accountable. But we can't do it without your help. So if you're outraged by what you've seen and want to make a difference, we ask you to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Not only will you be supporting our efforts to expose the truth, but you'll also be keeping up to date on the latest developments in this important issue. Together, we can make a difference.